Hey there everyone, this is Daniel performing another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. Last time we did Lake Lamode without touching the water, here we are in Steam Gardens. Uh, the most obvious uh, thing to do here in Steam Gardens is to get through without touching any metal. Uh, you might think, you know, not touching the grass or not touching trees, but most of the kingdom is actually made of that red metal up there, and so what you want to do is try to avoid touching that. Uh, however, there are a few other experiments I'm going to be having a look at here. There's a few more things I want to try, so... Firstly, we're going to come over here. Uh, this rock has a moon in it, so we're just going to try to pick it up and fail. Um, keep accidentally knocking it away instead. There we go. Uh, you can use this rock to more easily get that bunny there, because it extends Mario's hitbox a bit. As you can see, it makes it much easier. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. So yeah, we want to get to 16 moons without touching any metal. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, it's not too hard. Uh, but there's a few things that we can't access normally, which makes things a bit trickier. Uh, you meant to go that way, through where the Sphinx is. You can actually go over here instead. And of course, this river here is all stone, so it's fine to stand here. Uh, you may remember I already tried to get this moon up here without using an uproot, so we'll do that again. It's not too tricky. Although if I do that, it'll be tricky. Come on, Mario. What are you doing? You wacky plumber. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is not too tricky. Uh, I'm just messing it up because I'm bad at video games. Unless you want to face this way, do a bunch of ground pound jumps. And not mess it up. The main problem is that if you're too close, you'll bounce underneath these platforms and then you can't get onto them. Uh, for example, there, you can see the cap bounce was blocked by the fact that the platform was there. There we go, and there's one more. This one's a bit longer, so you have to dive off the edge and die. Oh, okay. Dive off the edge and go to the deep woods, because that's one of the deep woods entrance areas. Alright, so... This deep woods here, we did. I didn't actually visit this last time. I tried to do this um, metalless version of the kingdom. Uh, there's no metal down here, so it's probably very easy to do if you come down here. Uh, however, the deep woods is annoying to navigate, so I might just get back out of here and back to the regular area of the kingdom. Uh, if we can find uh, these robots, you don't have to touch them to get the rock, like to get the nuts out, so it's fine to do that, even though they're clearly made of metal. Make your way up here. Uh, it's going to be pretty quiet for a while because the music in this kingdom doesn't start till you make your way over to the next bit. Uh, which might be, not be happening for a while. This is pretty easy as long as you do a cap bounce before you hit the wall. Um, it's kind of like a tutorial on doing that sort of thing because uh, you can see that there's a moon up there. I don't, it's actually, I mean, a nut. There's a moon in it. I don't know if we can reach that without touching any of the metal. There's this, you can see that a lot of the metal has this moss on it, so you can actually go along that instead of actually standing on metal parts, uh, which will come in handy. Uh, this fire bro isn't very helpful. Might as well take him out. There we go. You can see there's a lot of metal up there, so we're going to have some trouble. Yeah, we're still in the middle, so it's going to come back down. Uh. There we go. So yeah, this whole edge is moss, so you can just walk along here without any trouble. Pull that switch. I don't know if you can reach that other moon without touching the metal. Here you have to do a long jump because there's a lot of metal along the floor there. But it's not too hard. There we go. Uh, we can stand out here without any trouble, but this is all grassy. Yep, 
get these if you want. I mean, maybe that money is made of metal, it's not really clear. It's the same purple stuff that all the other coins are made of, though. It's a different shape, so it should be fine. We're not going to be buying anything anyway, so it doesn't make a huge difference. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So over there is probably the trickiest part, uh, metal-wise. You can see to climb up here, you have to walk on lots of surfaces that appear to be just metal. Uh, but there is a way to do it. I'm going to try to do it from up here with a cappy jump rather than from below because that might make it a cappy roll jump, sorry. Because that might make it a bit easier. We'll see how we go. Okay, that landed on metal, so not allowed. Backtrack, backtrack. Uh, you can use these flags, but a lot of them will spawn you on the metal, so you have to watch out for that. I think this one's okay. I think it might put you back here where I'm standing. I'm not sure though. Uh, There's a sub area down there, but when you go in, you start on a metal floor, so we can't actually go in there. Uh, over here, I think we can use the moss to make our way across. Yeah, we can. Just do it carefully. There we go. And the moss again, there we go. Ta -da -da. Yeah! Okay, good, good, good. Uh, I'm just gonna do a long jump to get back down to this spot. There we go, easy peasy. It's not quite as obvious which part is what surface because the moss in the middle are on the same thing rather than with sand and tiles and stuff where it's very obvious whether you're standing on the right thing or not. Uh, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, so let me think about this. It is possible to make your way over from this, this platform uh, if you take out some of these plants. Uh, Cappy will get eaten by them, uh, which is a little scary, uh, because, yeah, uh, but you can get them back by doing a little shake like this, sorry, and you can get a, you can get her back by doing a little shake, like a shake, and then that'll pull her out of the plant, and you can just go kick the plant while it's stunned, so that's kind of handy. You can long jump onto these blocks here, I don't think they're made of metal, they have little, like, screws in the side, but I don't think they're actually made of metal. Ah, uh, you have to be careful, obviously. Careful, I'm just gonna jump back on the platform, so... Keep that in mind, I guess. There we go. Uh, is that okay? I already touched the metal. I think I touched the metal, so let's try that again. But yeah, I'm trying to aim for the uproot spawning pot just there. Because that's dirt, and you can handle dirt. It would be better if I could do a cap bounce, but there's not quite enough room. That worked. Cool. Uh, you can't kill uproots by jumping on them, you have to ground pound. But you'll bounce up when you ground pound, so you don't have to worry too much about, like, accidentally hitting something. Uh, here, it's a bit tricky. You can climb up to here. I think that's okay. I believe you're on moss in that spot. Uh, but plants will drop onto you and hurt you, so you gotta watch out for that. Yeah. Uh, but I believe we will respawn on the dirt near that other checkpoint. Not on the, gr not on the metal, so we're okay. No, we spawn on the metal. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna go back this way and take a different route that's not working. Oh, I can't go back this way. It's the back of a sphinx. <laughs> I didn't realize that happened. Gosh. Yeah, because we didn't talk to the sphinx, we never opened up that path. But we can just walk back to the Odyssey, so not a problem. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go get that moon that's with the three, like, ledges on the side of the tree that I was trying to get before I accidentally dropped into the deep woods. And then I'm going to try to take a little bit of a shortcut to get higher up without having to walk on too much metal. Which is a part of another experiment, actually. 
Triple jump is enough to get up there and you need a cap bounce. Obviously with a cap bounce it's even easier. Okay, so what we got to do, just do a cap bounce like this, which will... Uh, yeah, you want to do a ground pound jump and then throw, your, throw Cappy out to the side, basically, so that you have enough room to bounce off of that. Like this. Uh, and then you mess it up, because video games. <laughs> I'm having a little trouble with this. <laughs> oh my god. If I had a cap bounce then, that would have been great, but the wall jump actually stops you from doing a cap bounce. Uh, okay, so yeah, we just gotta... Oh my god. I'm clearly just not doing it right, but I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Okay, that worked. <laughs> okay, um... Damn it. <laughs> it's not hard, I'm having fun, so it doesn't matter. Okay, that went a bit too far out. Wow, I didn't realize that would work. That was cool. Okay, so there we go. And then we just got a... Oops. I'll get it eventually. <laughs> But yeah, you can just grab an up route and it becomes much easier if you do it that way. This is just the advanced player's way of doing it. Which is also a lot slower than the normal way, uh, because up routes are very fast uh, to ascend up these sorts of ledges. So advanced players who aren't interested in speed running. <laughs> well, like a minimum captures run or something, maybe. Because you don't, would, out, would be able to avoid capturing those up routes. Back to the deep woods. Yeah, a lot of the cliffs in this kingdom will walk through the deep woods instead of just letting you go back to where you were. It's kind of annoying. It's not a big deal, but if the deep woods let you walk out, that would be a lot better. And they don't, so. It's frustrating. I was hoping that would work, but it didn't quite. Let's get a bit of different distance away. There we go. Then just gotta spin now. There we go. So much bonking. Mario, please. <laughs> it's like just a bit too small to do something like a cappy roll jump, so you can't really use that for, to help you out. You also can't triple jump. I think. Maybe you can triple jump. Um, also, cappy roll jump is better for distance anyway, not really height. You don't get as much height from it as you do from a triple jump. Since it's just a vault that gives you the height, basically, rather than, you know, a, a full-blown triple jump. Bolt does give you a decent amount of height. I think it's close to a backflip or ground pound jump, but not as good as triple jump, which is the best one in the game. This is really embarrassing. I managed to do this earlier. <laughs> 
Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh my god. No. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to leave this for now because I keep messing it up and I'm going to look at something else in the kingdom instead just to mix things up a bit and get the music back because all that stuff is like in the no music atmospheric area of the kingdom. So instead, uh, I'm just going to head back up there and I'm going to do a little bit of a skip that you can do. Uh, because that part of the of the wooded area, like this part out the front here, if you look at the map, only really this part here is wooded. Uh, but that ledge over there is much, much higher up than the first part. Uh, which means there's a couple of tricks you can pull with some carefully arranged jumps and such. Oops. Specifically, if you come over here, you can see that there's a ledge up there. Uh, that ledge is actually uh, the area you go to after doing the first two story moons, uh, which is the one, which is the one that's uh, just here, and the one that's over here when you do the brutal boss. So, if you can get up there like that, which is very easy, you can actually come here a lot earlier than you're supposed to be able to. Uh, there's not much point in doing so, however, because as you can see, there's nothing here yet. All the stuff that's supposed to have loaded into this area is not here. Uh, there should be a rocket on top of that uh, pillar there, for example, which there isn't. And there should be a bunch of Goombas in this area, and there should be some tanks over here. So without those things, you may think it's impossible to climb up there. Uh, because you can't break any of these rocks here yet without one of the tanks, and you can't... And the pole doesn't spawn until, like, you've done the whole story, I think. Uh, I believe using these little ledges you can, but they're made of metal, and there's no moss on them, so... Hmm. I'm not sure there's any way to do it without touching any metal. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Suspend the metal touching rule just so I can try this out. Uh, so yeah, if you stand on these ledges over here, and you obviously there's not enough room for like a cappy roll jump here, but there is a, there is enough room, I believe, for a triple jump if you get it just right. Oops. <laughs> well, back down here. I didn't really plan this out, as you might be able to tell. <laughs> I believe just a triple jump here will work, but you need to be a lot more precise than you do with a cappy roll jump, which actually makes it harder than it otherwise would be. There we go. Yeah, triple jump works. Alright, so these little ledges over here. still a lot higher than I think I can actually make. Maybe you can double jump from the, from the next one along? Doubt it. That's, that looks too far. Hmm. I know this is possible, but I just don't know how. <laughs> Alright, well, let, for now let's put that on hold, and let's try to get through the regular first story moon while avoiding metal, as is our original intention. Uh, we can get over here by, by touching the mossy parts rather than the metally parts, like this. Uh, then go over to those blocks, which also are not made of metal, they're clearly made of brick. So that's okay. Um, just a long jump here. Make our way to here, it's fine. Basically, we just want to get back down there. Uh, you can see those charges are over there. There will be a moon in one of those later, but because they're all made of metal, we can't actually get that moon. There we go. So now we're back here. We could probably have just used the checkpoint to get down here, but that was more fun. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, the way 
Uh, I think you have to do this. Basically, you should get over to this plant here. Uh, you take it out so you've got a bit more room to work with. There we go. And you triple jump. To get on top of these blocks. Then you have another triple jump. Let's get up here. Ow. Trying to get out of the way. Go away. Okay, so then from here you want... You can stand on the edge here because you can see there's moss just along the edge. Uh, but you can't stand on the rest of that block, obviously. Here you can go, go there fine, you can walk on this moss. You can jump across to that piece of moss. You can't go into the maze because that would require walking on lots of metal as an uproot, which still counts. Uh, you can just dump jump over here without any trouble. There we go. And you can actually kill these plants without any trouble. Uh, you can get that one. I actually forgot about that one. Maybe. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, maybe. There's a, there's a lot of moss here, so I think I can probably make it over there without having to touch them at all. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah! Again, we can't actually use this, the checkpoint that we got um, at the end of the road because it lands you on a metal space, but I might waive the rules just a little bit to save some time and let me stand on those spots. So here, uh, the big plant, you can see the plant itself is not on one of the red metal surfaces, it's on the actual moon platform. So once you've bopped the plant while standing here on the dirt, you can grab the moon. The moon platform appears to be made of metal, but that's okay. It's not the regular kind of metal. <laughs> so yeah, you get that moon. Breaks open that. Uh, I believe you can actually get past uh, this uh, P-switch here without actually getting the moon. I think speedrunners sometimes uh, get up there without hitting the P-switch. Uh, but I'm not really sure how to do it, and I would have to stand on the fence there, which is made of metal. I, b I believe you have to triple jump off the fence, basically. Uh, the P-switch itself is fine to stand on, and we can use this flower path without any problems. Uh... There's another moon up there, but I don't know if we can reach it. Uh, it looks like these crumbly blocks are also made of metal by the looks of things, which means we probably can't step on them. Uh, we also can't step on that peak switch and go into the tower because the insides have metal flooring. Uh, that was terrible. Get back on the piece of mushroom. You can jump into the door without touching the metal, but once you get inside, you're standing on more metal, so not okay. But, if you do a good triple jump from here... You can actually land up here, uh, and make your way along the mossy surfaces here, rather than actually going into the tower to reach the top of it. This is very tricky, because it's very easy to fall through and, you know, die. Uh, but if you just get over to here, which isn't too difficult, you can just take a few steps back, I think. Climb up to here. You can see that this railing happens to have moss on top, so I'm allowed to grab the top of it like I just did. And you can checkpoint here. Walk on where the flowers are, not where the metal is. And the middle part, as you can see, is all dirt and grass, so it's safe to stand up here. And you can fight the boss. Again, this is Spewit, the easiest boss in the game, so it's not too much to worry about. Just gotta pop him on there a couple of times, like this. He always rolls towards you in this first battle, so all you have to do is just jump at the right time and you will land on him and interrupt his rolling around. So it's very, very easy. <laughs> Even if you mess it up, you're still fine. You're not gonna have any problems. See? 
And done. Didn't take a single hit. Because, yes, yeah, spirit is easy. Easiest with the bosses. And that gives us a multi moon, which is good to have. And that will load a bunch of stuff in that area we went to earlier where there was nothing. Uh, because you're supposed to get there after you've done this. Uh, you meant to use one of the tanks to break the blocks uh, underneath the, the blocks we jumped over, the little wooden brick, the more wooden bricks, the brick bricks, the bricks that we used to get across that metal surface. You break those from below in order to get up there normally. But you can just do what we did and do the triple jump. And actually, that's easier because it means you don't have to walk over a big metal surface to get back up there. Anyway, you can see it's kind of darker now. Uh, that's. I guess it's like night time now. I don't know. But this part of the this part of the story is a little bit different. I guess it's the night time part. Again, we're going to do this little skip. Make our way up here. Just because that's the easiest way to handle all of this. You can see that was terrible, but I still pulled it off without any trouble. As you can see also, there are now tanks up here. There are also Goombas down here. Uh, we're going to capture these Goombas because we absolutely need that Goombat room in order to pull this off. There's a checkpoint up there now, that wasn't there before. Uh, we can get that checkpoint, but we can't use it because it will pop us out on the metal. Let's talk to Green Bed here. You can see she's standing on metal, but the moon actually moves a bit forward when she puts it out, so we can get it without having to worry about the metal. Yeah! That was easy enough. Uh, we can't get the moon over there, the one that's in the charger, because that will involve, uh, you know, standing on some metal. Indeed, ground pounding on some metal, because the chargers are made of metal. Uh, we can get one of these tanks, though, in order to make our way up here, uh, which also lets us access a moon which happens to be hiding in this area. So if we just uh, take out these couple of tanks, it's not too tricky, their, their bullets are very slow, and they don't dodge like you do, so as long as you dodge nicely, you'll be fine. You can see the moon is just there, we're just going to blast away a little bit more, so we have a way to get up there. There we go, should be enough. You can blast away all of this if you want, but you don't have to. Yeah! Now, the next part of the, of the Kingdom regular pathway, like, when you're playing the Kingdom normally, what you're supposed to do next, once you get up here, is you're supposed to grab a rocket flower and use it to ride up this wall. But as you can see, this wall is made of metal. Uh, so we're not going to be able to make our way up there. So we can't get to the next story moon. Um, what we can do, if we make our way over here, is get to one of the sub-areas. Uh, if we just carefully squidge our way through here. Uh, a little a long jump is enough here, just like that. Uh, I'm going to allow sliding down the wall, uh, just to simplify things a little bit, even though it is made of metal. Ow. Okay, uh, so the door is up there. Uh, it's just a little tricky to get up there because... There, okay, so we just use the mossy part of the wall there to wall kick. Uh, it's a little tricky to get in as well, because as you can see, the floor is all... It's all metal but you can just do that. Thankfully here, the floor is made of concrete, which we can stand on. So what we've got to do is just make our way through here. We can't get that moon, because it's on a platform with a metal top. If we do a triple jump, we can probably get a, a look up there. Oops. Sweet metal top. Uh, but we can get the other moon here, and we will be. It's just kind of tricky. Uh, see, I've decided, like, because we're not allowed to touch metal, we can't wall kick off that metal wall there. Uh, which is what you're supposed to do in this area. So instead, we have to do something a bit different. Uh, we're going to do a ground pound jump. 
Or Cappy out. Oh god, that didn't work. We haven't got a lot of time, as you can see, because of the flower path being slowly vanished. <sighs> um, I think we might not need the first flower path, maybe? Let's have a look. I get the feeling it might actually be an optional way of doing things. Oh no, that's way too far. Hmm. Okay, I'm not really sure what's up with that then. What you're supposed to do to get that moon, by the way, is make a Goomba Tower to climb up there. Uh, but you can just do a triple jump to get up there, so it's much easier. Oops. Uh. So yeah, once you manage to get into this, get the sub area done properly, uh, that part with the wall jump is very hard. It's pretty much the only hard part. Uh, rather than doing a wall jump off the metal, because we've decided that's not allowed, uh, you've got to do something a little bit different. And rather more difficult. <laughs> it involves, like, doing a cat bounce, basically. Uh, because the ceiling is quite low, there isn't room to do, like, a triple jump here. As you can see, there's not enough room to, like... Oh, that's hard. So, yeah, basically, yeah, you have to ascend that one wall uh, all the way to the top, just using that one wall instead of the opposite wall, because the opposite wall is made of metal. Yeah, just a couple of trip, just a couple of long jumps to do the trick. Don't have to worry about that first flower path at all, really. There we go. Um, but here is the first tricky part. So yeah, there's not enough room to triple jump because you're sort of in this really tight confined space. Oh no! I've done this before, but I forget exactly how I did it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Basically what you want to do is do a cap bounce and then a wall jump without losing too much height. And that gives you enough height to dive onto the, onto the top of the flower path. You can go over the top of that um, from this from this side, but the top is also metal, so it doesn't help this. Ah, almost. I forget if I have Boulder Moon to do this the first time. I think I might have to. There's a lot of stuff we can't access because of the metal rules. Alright, so here we go. First, we want to make our way over here to look at a ground pound jump to get some height to begin with. Ah, oh, that was terrible. Mario, that was terrible. What, you did, what were you doing? I know I was the one making you do it, but still, what were you doing? It was awful. <laughs> get a little more time, this wouldn't be hard, but it's it's the time constraint that makes it so tricky. Uh, it's pretty easy to line up a trick jump in this game if you have plenty of time to do it. But sometimes you don't. Uh, maybe I want to backflip and then throw Cappy? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the right order of operations is. I know that if you do a wall jump, you won't be able to bounce off Cappy afterward. I might come back to this in a bit. Uh, I believe if I walk out of there, I'm going to be standing on metal, right? Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <sighs> Warping time. Uh, why can we warp? We can warp to Summit Path, actually, because that one is on some dirt, I believe, rather than on metal. Yes, so we can walk back here without any problem, so that's great. Uh, if we make our way over this way, if you look down there, there's actually some other other entrances and stuff. You can see that they're covered in metal, though. But if you make your way over here, you can see where that path comes out, which is actually... 
over here-ish. You can see down there, uh, there's some metal plates and stuff. But if we can get down there, uh, we can actually get that moon while skipping the challenge you're supposed to do to get it. Uh, which is good because that challenge involves stepping on some metal, which we isn't something we're not allowed to do. Uh, there we go. So yeah, you're supposed to go through uh, behind there. There's some like ropes you swing on and poles you can swing on and stuff. Maybe we can just do this instead. <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else have I not done yet? I haven't done the one where you have to jump on the little platforms. I kept getting annoyed by that. So we have to go back and do that. I'd like to avoid doing stuff in the deep woods if I can, just because there's no metal there, so it seems a bit too easy. Uh, experience breaking your legs. Okay, so this one here. Um, I've tried to do it a couple of times, I just keep messing up. Uh, I should be okay though. There we go. There we go, that was easy. First try. So here, you just have to jump up in order to hit that. Kick off the wall, it's not too hard. And you can get the moon out. Normally as an uproot you can just break it by stretching, which is a lot faster, but there we go. Okay, so we still need three more moons. We can buy one, uh, because the shop in this kingdom is right at the beginning, and we can access it without having to touch any metal. Ow. Uh, it's just over here, as you can see. So we can buy them in the shop, uh, but then we need two more moons from somewhere. I'm not really sure where. Hmm, let me have a think. As I mentioned, if you go into this pipe here, uh, it looks like you can go in because there's all like dirt on the outside, but the wall you can see is made of metal, which is a bit of a hint that you cannot go in here because this happens. Yeah, it's metal. Uh, the water comes up quite quickly, but not quickly enough for you to avoid touching the metal before it shows up. There would be two moons in there if we could get in there, unfortunately we can't. So that's out of the question. Uh, let me see, let me see. See, there's a bunch of tanks and stuff here now as well. Uh, the idea is you meant to blow him from that wall there with the tanks in order to get into the lower part of that uh, area with the with the bricks. But you have to do it that way. We did it differently, differently, a different way. <sighs> let me think. Let me think. I, I have a feeling this input's going to be impossible to get this one, but let's have a quick look. Not that one. Let's play the moon. Let's just see if we've got the coins. What I'm talking about is over here. Uh, that was not a good jump, but whatever. Uh, the poison has been cleaned up, as you can see. It's not poisonous here anymore. I'm pretty sure it's going to be impossible to get this, but let's have a quick look. Uh. Yeah, that whole room has metal flooring, so... Well, maybe. Hang on. Let me have a quick look. Okay, so this is a like mini capitalist challenge sort of thing. Let's throw Cappy over there. This door opens. If we can long jump into the room, we'll be okay, but I don't think we can. Oh, we can. Okay. Okay, yeah, we can do this. There we go. Um, getting Cappy back is probably going to be harder than getting the moon. Yeah. So yeah, that's easy. Um... I thought it would be impossible because there's so much metal here and you lose Cappy, but actually it's quite easy. Uh, let's jump into that spot, there we go. Boop, okay, we got Cappy back. Okay. Make your way around this corner here, very carefully. Okay, uh, I think I might touch the metal for a second there, but, you know, close enough. <laughs> Uh, let me see, let me see. I need two more moons. Two more moons. Hmm. Let me just think a little bit. There's definitely plenty of moons in the deep woods. Maybe I need to go down there. 
I think I would prefer that to buying a moon, actually. I might go to the deep woods. So, the deep woods area, uh, you access it by just dropping down, basically. Basically, it's only this hole to start, but I think as you open up more exits, the deep woods will let you enter it from other parts of the kingdom, too. But yeah, you just drop down here. The deep woods doesn't have any music. You always break your legs when you enter, so you gotta watch out for that. And you can see there's no map. You just show up over here in the question mark area of the kingdom and you can't warp. So it's very, very annoying. Um, but there's a bunch of moons down here, so I guess we should get a couple of them. Uh, firstly, let's go get this one. If we jump into this pipe here. So the idea is you're meant to go into the mystery pipes here to go to the right one. It's actually very easy because if you just sort of stand here, you can see that Mario is looking at the left pipe. So that's the one we want to go in. Now we walk over here. Mario is now looking at... He's not looking at anything. Mario is looking at the middle pipe. Okay. There's a whole bunch of pipes. Mario, what are you looking at? Is this one? Yeah, it is. Okay. See, it's easy if you know if you know what you're looking for. It's easy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like really annoying. If you get the wrong pipe, it just resets you to the beginning without giving you the moon. So, yeah. Super annoying. Uh, okay, we need one more moon. We could buy one from the shop, but I'm not going to. Uh, let's have another look around here and see if there's something else we can do down here. Uh, there's a bunch of weird stuff you can capture down here. Here's a rock. The only reason to do this is there are a couple of purple coins back there, so that's how you get those. There we go. Uh, there's a tree over here. The tree is a bit like the cactus back in uh, Tost Arena, but it's not on metal, so we can capture it, no problem. You can actually uncapture earlier than that. If you don't want to wait for it to move all the way, you can just come out as soon as you've moved it a little bit. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. So that's 16. There we go. Uh, that's all we need. Uh, maybe we've got to find a beanstalk so we can get back out of here, since there's no other way to exit the deep woods apart from one of these beanstalks. Uh, you can grow lots of these throughout the kingdom by taking those, take down throughout the deep woods part of the kingdom by taking the little seeds from the seed robots to different flower pots and they lead to different parts of the kingdom. There's not much point in doing so as far as I can tell. Apart from being able to get out of the annoying part of the kingdom faster I guess. Um, anyway, we have all the moons we need. Uh, I feel like those last two are a little bit of cop out though, so maybe I'll do something else. I don't know. Let's go have a look at that moon above here and see if there's enough moss to be able to get up there without touching any metal. Hmm, maybe, maybe. I feel like there might be. Let's let's uh. get this guy out of the way. Uh. Okay, if we stand here first, then we do like a triple jump. Yeah, there's moss there as well, so if we can pull ourselves up onto the platform just above... Uh, maybe if I triple jump from over here? I think I'm gonna hide if I do it this way though. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought, I didn't bounce this quite to the right spot. Uh, we could get an uproot and climb up that way, but the thing about an uproot is it can't do the same jumps Mario can, so I don't think we can get to this spot without having to go through metal. Um, let me see here. Hmm. Hmm. 
maybe like a cappy roll jump off of here, maybe? Uh, that would give us too much momentum away from the platform, I think, so. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, awesome. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Oh, wow, that was cool. <laughs> Alright, um, so that's an extra moon to compensate for one of the dark, dark side moons, not dark side, dark, deep woods, deep woods moons that I thought was a little bit too easy. I think I'm going to have another look at that sub area now, see if I can pull that off. Uh, these, yeah, I'm just going to warp up there because I don't want to break those rocks again. Ba -ba, da -da -da, ba -da 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 -da. So yeah, um, we definitely can't go up there, because you have to run across the whole thing with these rocket flowers. You can't just jump from the mossy patch to the other mossy patch. I think. Maybe you can. Hang on. Hmm. Let's experiment a little bit. <laughs> okay, you don't gain much height from a jump. Yeah, I don't think we can do that without actually touching the metal on the way. Uh, unless... I think you can triple jump while you have rocket flowers. It's just really hard because you're moving forward so much. Maybe. I can't really tell. Okay, so let's do this part again. Not too tricky, you just wanna long jump your way over here. Use a cap bounce if you want, just to get over there. Walk in the middle here in order to get up. There we go. Skater bonk there, that's all mossy, so not a problem. So yeah, you just gonna you don't wanna do that, you wanna actually long jump like that. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, as I mentioned, this is all concrete, so it's fine to walk on. Uh, so it's not too much of a problem, the fact that uh, you have to walk on these floors because they are concrete floors, which is fine. Uh, then you step on this one, and then this is the tricky part, because that pole, this like, that metal piece there is completely metal, there's nothing on top of it you can stand on, and the sides are also completely metal. So what you want to do, something like... Oh god, something like that, but better. And it's gone. Yeah, you want to do, do it like a backflip like that, because then Cappy will be in a good position to do a wall jump after diving forward and bouncing off of her. Whereas if you do a ground pump jump, you stay in place. Uh, you get about the same amount of height, but because Mario stays in place, Cappy goes forward uh, when you throw her, obviously. And so she's not in a good spot. Once you dive onto her, you'll, you won't be lined up with where the flower path is. I think that's the way I did it before. I can't really remember. So you want to stand like way back here, basically. Yep, there we go. That's it. Oh, wow. Awesome. So yeah, that's without touching the metal wall at all. Uh, without having to like wall jump off of it or actually interact with it. And then once you've done that, it's easy. All you could do is just walk up here uh, and do a long jump just in case because the edges of these platforms are made of metal. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah! But the middle part is made of concrete so you can stand on it without any problem. I guess that's two extra moons to compensate for the two I got in the deep woods so I decided didn't count. Shouldn't have gone in that pipe because that leads you to that metal surface, but that's okay. It's just the ending anyway. Uh, but yeah, you can see it is possible to get more than enough moons in this kingdom without walking on any of the metal surfaces or, you know, touching metal, basically. I haven't even bought a moon, actually. So yeah, it's very possible. Also, it's possible to break your legs. Uh, let's do a little cappy roll jump here while I wrap up. So yeah, the cappy roll jump is probably the easiest way to get up there, uh, if you can pull one off. It's a little tricky for new players. I might actually just demonstrate how you do it. 
So what you do, uh, what you do, you try to stand about a cap throw away from where the edge is. Uh, because you're going to throw Cappy 4, get her on the edge is what you want, basically, to get the maximum distance. Here she's a bit, like, not quite on the edge, but same basic idea. Uh, because of this little slope here, you have to be careful with that. Uh, what, so what you do is you throw Cappy out, holding the Y button. Hang on. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, you throw Cappy out while holding down the Y button to keep her out. Then you press B to jump, you ground pound, and then push X. And pushing X, because you're still holding Y, uh, and for pushing the X button while still holding the Y button makes you roll forward, basically. Uh, and you want to do it just after the ground pound. So, it's Y, press and hold, press B, press ZL, press X. And you hold Y the whole time. And, yeah, it's pretty simple. Just takes a little bit of practice. Uh, the reason for the ground pound is that ground pounding and then starting to roll will roll, make you roll at full speed, for whatever reason. I don't know why. You can do it without the ground pound, it's just that you need a bit more room to build up the speed that you need. Rather than just pressing the button, you might need to actually shape the controller a bit, or press the button a few more times, or whatever. But yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to do a copy roll jump with a little bit of practice. Basically, you seem to exploit the fact that the Y and X buttons do the same thing in this game for some reason. And then you're fine. Yeah, I know. Thanks, robot. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it for this experiment, I think. I've gotten more than enough moons. I've shown how to get them. And I had some fun. So, that's it for the Wooded Kingdom, I suppose. Uh... I'm not really sure what to do for the next one. The Cloud Kingdom is pretty boring, so I might not do an experiment on it. I might just do it off camera, since all it is is the boss battle. Um, after that, we have the Lost Kingdom. I have something I can do there, so I might do an experiment video on that one. Uh, yeah, I probably will do it in the Lost Kingdom. Uh, then we have Metro. I can really come up with, with something from Metro, I'll think about it. But yeah, uh, that's it for this video, and I reckon that's probably about it for the Wooded Kingdom for now. So I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this impromptu tutorial on Cappy Roll Jumps, uh, and how I do them, and maybe you have some advice on how to do them better, I don't know. It seems to work though. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you thought, and I hope you enjoyed. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, if you press X too, X too late, you don't get the momentum from the ground pound, and so it sucks. <laughs> uh, it was kind of helpful to demonstrate that, I guess, just to see what the timing is. Maybe I'll more like it. And yeah, you want to be able to do it with Cappy on the ledge, as close to the edge as possible. If she's off the ledge, you'll get a, a, a mid-air bounce instead of a vault, which gives you less height and uses up your mid-air bounce. So you have to watch out for that. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I've said that several times, but that's it. Actually, for real this time, I'm just going to take Mario over here and let him fall asleep. <sighs> okay, so yeah, that's it. This is Steam Gardens done in the experiments. I had fun. I hope you enjoyed. Woo me. Yeah, me too, Mario. I'm very sleepy.